Amidst all the big ticket political appointments, it's Justice Verma who shines with his report on anti rape laws, which recommends a comprehensive overhaul of laws dealing with sexual violence. But the biggest question who will implement these? Rajnath Singh appointed as BJP party president for the second time, but what will be the impact for Narendra Modi's prime ministerial dreams? And lest we forget, today is the 116th birthday of one of the biggest revolutionaries of the freedom struggle, a forgotten hero many say as amidst all the talk of corruption and rape in politics, his birthday quietly slips away. The big political story today that's been trending since yesterday was the anti-climax of the appointment of the party president of the BJP. When Nitin Gadkari was a shoe in for the post, within hours we saw the Rajput leader from Uttar Pradesh, Rajnath Singh, being appointed instead. We'll come to that in just a bit, but amidst all the political developments, the one man who became an instant trend on Twitter, Justice Verma, with his report on anti-rape laws for all the right reasons, for delivering a report that was compassionate, commonsensical and very, very comprehensive. So on the social net network today, we ask, Justice Verma shines, but will the government see the light? we we'll come to that in just a bit. But first, let's listen into some of the video blogs. So now uh, the committee will be helpful in some point of time in their life. Uh, they can actually get to know about their basic rights and uh, when these kind of heinous crimes happen to them. So they can report it to police and they, they can consult with the other people also. And considering about LGBT issues, this is now gaining more and more uh, power these days because now people are coming out of their closet and they want equal rights for themselves also so that they can express themselves in every nook and corner of their life. See, such committees are made from time to time, but it took 65 years for our lawmakers to make necessary changes regarding women. But I do feel that it's better late than never. All right, of course, that big story, like we said, joining us on that is Shivani, who's a protester. She joins us from the Capitol on a voice call. We've got with us in the studio, thank you, Shivani, for joining us. We've got in the studio with us Madhu Mehra, who's a lawyer and a women's activist. And we've also got with us Patrick French, who's the author of India, a portrait who's been in and out of India for the last 25 years. Madhu, I want to begin with you first. Uh, you know, many of us are calling this report radical, comprehensive, compassionate. Many are saying it's just simple common sense. It's the mirror to us as a society. Uh, is it, should we, how should we walk away from this report? What's the biggest takeaway for you on this report? I think what this report has done um, is that Article 14 and 15 of the Constitution of India, which has only been actually on paper for women, has been translated to ensure women's bodily integrity, security and sexual autonomy for the first time. It's been scripted in a document, in an official document, and I think it will go a long way in informing policy if there is a political will to inform. Yeah. to act upon it. Yeah. So what this report has done is define speedy justice for aggravated sexual crimes very comprehensively to look at the machinery that implements, uh, implements the law, uh, to look at the police, the judiciary and every aspect, so very, every, very law that is, that every law that has a bearing on it. Patrick, did you, did you see this coming? What did you make of it? Well, I think it's a much more wide-ranging and radical and um, progressive uh, series of suggestions covering a whole load of different areas, everything from uh, marital rape to sexual violence to against gay men, well. yeah. and of course to the way that the armed forces behave. Yeah. And I think what's really good about this is it, it sets down very clear parameters of what is a crime and what is not, because one of the really heartbreaking things in recent months is seeing quite a lot of people, in particular men, older men, saying, oh, well, maybe women are responsible for their own rape. Maybe this is okay or that is not okay. And this makes it absolutely clear what is acceptable and what is not. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.